Hi, I'm Barth Crouch. I'm the uh, state coordinator for Kansas Grazing Lands Coalition. And talking about some of these things that are in these burn trailers that uh, our guys use to go around and do demonstrations with, work with prescribed burn associations, and just show up sometimes at uh, a group of ranchers that are doing it together and want to help. So let's just go in here and take a look at what some of the things are that make these worth having. Well, first thing you have to have is a drip torch, because that's how you start the fire and control where the fire is burning. And you walk along with this, a uh, mix of diesel and gasoline come out of the bottom of it, it's lit, and when it hits the ground, it continues to burn after it's gone into the ground. So there's four of those in here. The number one thing that all of the prescribed burn associations want and they're the most probably expensive thing is, is the handheld Motorola FM radios with a lapel mic that mounts up on your shoulder. So you just reach up and talk and it can talk to the other guys. Hey, what's going on? Need you to move here. All is, uh, is much better than using a cell phone or trying to yell in a fire. One of the coolest things we have too is this that goes on to UTVs or ATVs, it, and uh, UTVs are the best. This unit can be put in to the UTV and it fits, carries 75 gallons of water. The tank is baffled inside, so when you're going up the hill, the water doesn't slosh around. It just stays where it's supposed to go. And you can put out a lot of fire with this. So when you're burning the black lines to start your border before you start the head fire, this is absolutely cru crucial to have. And you know, we usually start a fire with a lot of the guys who say, hey, you want a respirator to, and all that? And they go, ah, I can handle it. And if it gets smoky, next thing you know, they're back here, they put one on, they try it for a while, and they want to know how much they cost because they want one. And these have the little disposable filters. So at the end of the day of burning, you put another filter on and you're ready to go again. You've also got a pump and a generator so you can go get water to refill this if you need it. Uh, if somebody else has a, a four-wheeler, doesn't have a tank, we got this one that will quickly put on them and they can use it for the day. So just a lot of different things in here that people can use and we can, you know, pull it out. It's all available. It all shows up and it all comes back to the same spot. So some of the PBAs, the prescribed burn associations, have their own trailers now. Because you know, when you work with farmers and ranchers, if you show them something, they can build it better. And they do. So that's where it goes. It's just for them to see and then they can outfit them themselves. 